Yo guys, quick announcements. First and foremost, make sure you go subscribe to my Twitch channel, Two Wild Gaming. I'm most likely to be uh, twitching later on the night, but also me and Nikki, I'll be on her channel tonight with her. She'll be YouTube live streaming, so you can go follow her as well. I'll link those down below in the description. The main thing I wanted to talk about right in the beginning of the video is that I've been noticing a lot of these glitches and stuff going on in the beginning of my, throughout my video. These glitches, it's probably happening right fucking now on this intro. Well, I just bought a new uh, memory card, so hopefully that whole problem will cease to exist very shortly. Uh, I had to upgrade my memory cards on here, but it shit's annoying. Trust me, it's annoying. Let's get to the video, though. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony Digital, bringing back another 4K visual back at it like a motherfucking crack addict today with a very special vid. Woo! That shit came out fluent as a motherfucker. Man, today, man, the Jordan 18 released. A lot of sneaker, a lot of sneaker that a lot of you guys hated, think are ugly as fuck. A lot of people out there just straight up hate them. You know, they sold out on Nike.com. They had them at, they have them um, on other sites, but they've been selling out, selling out, selling out. I only know one place right now close to me, Stonecrest, that has the sneakers. Wish ATL has them, but they haven't released them yet. So we're going to go ahead, head down to Stonecrest. And see if we can get our hands on them at the foot action at Stonecrest. Pack your bag, get some snacks, don't jack your jack, and let's get straight to it, man. It's a knock at my front door. Twelve kicking in my front door. All right, guys. So this morning been definitely a unique one, especially on the Jordan brand side. We know what they were t saying they were going to do, and it seems like we finally got our first shot of medicine. They released a Jordan 18 on a Monday, which is very, very odd, very different than normal. And um, them shits are only sitting on Nike.com, a couple other sites, Rufilla, and sold out on Nike.com and on Rufilla. I couldn't even choose my size. Foot Locker, Foot, uh, foot Locker uh, Champs, and I don't know too much about finish line, but they, none of them had them on the website. None of them had them on the launch locator. They weren't being dropped at local you know, retail shops as far as I'm concerned. I did, however, see that they were dropping on a foot action launch locator. And I seen also that they were releasing at DTLR. So we have a foot action and a DTLR at uh, Stonecrest Mall. So that's why we're headed over there today. We're heading over to Stonecrest. I'm walking straight into foot action first, and then I'm asking questions later. So I'm gonna walk into foot action. If they are in foot action, I'm gonna cop them instantly. Uh, I'm not gonna wait. And then after that, we can go look around and see what else you know every other uh, store has in hand and cop some other stuff if anything. But these things sold out um, on Nike. I know a lot of the hype beasts are going to be like, mm, I think I like these now. But these are a sneaker that released when I was 10 years old. So that's why I really wanted them. I'll talk more about that later, though. We just pulled up the Stonecrest. So, yeah. Let's get up in the bit. It's got a little, a little bit of activity in here. Not too much. This is only one side. This is a pretty big-ass mall. But it's got a lot of people here for it to be only 10 o'clock in the morning on a Monday. Rule change, though. The first store I see with these shits, I'm just going to cop them. So I think the first one we'll be walking into most likely is uh, Jimmy Jazz. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Foot action right here. Here we go. There they go, right there. Right there. Bingo. Bro, all they got is 11 and 11 and a half. They're limited. I think we're in big trouble, y'all. Them shits ain't in Jimmy Jazz. I know that we're going to DTLR. That's the only other store that that had them. So if they're not in DTLR, then uh, I don't know what the fuck Nike's doing. I don't like that though. I'll explain more why I don't like it later. DTLR's down there. I don't see any in the window either. Got the Kyrie's on deck. That's all they pretty much got though. I need to get desperate times calls for desperate measures. But it ain't what it seems. It ain't what it seems. Look at my hair right now, man. Looking like Millie Vanilli. But uh, I'm really disappointed in this release. How they, how they, how they did it. I'm not gonna lie. It's not, um, not really a clean release. I understand that Nike wants to do this shit limited, which is perfectly fine. But dude, I feel like there's just a lack of transparency on some of the issues here. Like they dropped them on Nike, but you drop them at some of the retailers. I'm just, I'm confused, that's all, I'm really confused. I ended up picking a size 11, mainly because I'm hoping for maybe a size swap, or I could just, if anything, get my pair, but still have something in hand to review for later on. But uh, first things first, we need to see if Linux had them, because if they got them, then we'll have to go get these real quick. 
I'm returning these bitches back. So, man, we basically went to Stonecrest, and it was just nothing in there, bro. Honestly, I uh, walked around about two times, and I saw two guys walking around with fucking four boxes of these 18s. And they, I asked one of them, you know, you got an eight and a half? He said, yeah. They were they were more concerned about why I had a camera. Like you, everybody thinks you have a camera. You do videos. Like I don't. I, I did that a long time ago. I don't long, no longer like doing that. I don't. I don't like shooting music videos anymore. But anyways, he was like, they had an eight and a half. I'm like, how much you selling it for? You know? He said, I'm gonna need a little like a hundred on top. Nigga, these are two twenty five already. You want three twenty five for these shits? I was like, nah, I'm straight. So I went to Foot Action, picked up the size eleven. Just hoping that maybe somebody down the road might have a nine or eight and a half that I could just have them pick up, you know, or maybe they're by a store and they have it and they need 11. I don't know. I just picked it up just to have it in my hand. If anything, I could take these bitches back, get my money back. You know, I'm not really tripping, but at least I got the shoe to show you, to give you my input on and look at it. And that's the main thing that I was worried about and why I hopped on getting these. But I, should, I, I walked past some dudes again. And I should have said, yo, side swap, 11 for eight and a half. I would have probably threw fit, maybe up to 50 bucks, but I wasn't going to throw them nothing more, you know. But I don't know what the hell. I picked up the last size. It was a size 11. These shits sold out. They didn't have no stock on these. These, so these are pretty limited. So if anything, flip game, I don't know. But I know that these are limited. They're limited. At least, I mean, they sold out on Nike. They're not in, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck these are, man. Let's just get home because I'm pissed off. Alright guys, so man, this whole journey of the day was definitely uh, bitter. This was a L. I feel like a delayed W in some effect. We were unable to get our size 8.5, but we were able to get a size 11. And I had to make a quick move. I said, you know what? I'm not finna stop my size and eight, size 8.5 eight from getting you guys out a review. So if I gotta review these and know on foot, so be it. It's at least a review. It's at least me talking about the sneaker, feeling it, giving my honest opinions on it. However, before we get into that, I am a little disappointed of how this release went. I knew something was fishy going on. I knew something weird was going on because nobody was talking about this release. Nobody cared about it apparently at first, which was, you know, because people think 18s are ugly. But which was weird was there was no Foot Locker launch, no Champs launch. You know, Nike Linux didn't put out a tweet about it. Uh, only people I saw was last minute was Wish that put out a tweet. So Nike sneakers that dropped it, they sold out on there. I went to uh, Rue Villa online and I couldn't get a size and cart on Rue Villa. And then uh, that's when I got up and went straight to Stonecrest and we saw what happened there. They didn't have a foot action. Foot, yeah, foot action, they had an eight and a half and a 12. I mean, 11 and a 12. I walked the Jimmy Jazz, they didn't have it. I went to DTLR, they didn't even have it. Like they did they didn't even have it. The only store that had it was the Foot Action, basically. Foot Locker, nothing. Nobody at Foot Locker. And I didn't even walk into Champs. Like, I went straight for them sneakers because that's I, I, I felt the pressure. Saw those guys. Asked the dude, can I get an eight and a half? His eight and a half. He tried to sell me an under, extra $100. And I was like, nah, I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. I went out the 11 and I saw them motherfuckers again. And I should have said, yo, can I, you want to side swap this 11 for the eight and a half? But I know he was gonna probably still try to do some weird stuff. Like they were just the way they were talking, I wasn't feeling the vibe. But you never know. I fucked up there. I probably should have asked him. He probably been like, fuck it, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Like I actually wore that size. I don't know why he had eight and a half, but they probably were reselling because both of them had two pairs each. I'm pretty sure they probably couldn't buy this pair. So that's why they had they only had two each. You could probably buy the probably the maximum you could buy. Anyway, let's look at these kicks real quick and give you my honest opinion. This was actually the last pair. This was the pair that was on display. This was the one that was sitting on the shelf. Size 11, way bigger than my size. You already know I'm an eight and a half, nine. Nine and a half is pushing it, but I would have got a nine and a half if I could. And these are the Jordan 18s. Retail is 225, which is also another reason why I'm very surprised these sold out because people don't fuck with it if it's over 200. But overall, I can tell off the rip that they put a lot of time the quality is very good. You got like a cardboard that protects, I'm guessing the Jordan from right here. It's a magnetic little button. Got the vent still on there, and just like the OG pair. These look very, very similar, if not the same to the to the OG. This looks a little bit different. This looks a little like less real. I feel like the OG was a little bit darker, at least the holes on there. But I really wanted this sneaker, man. I know it's an ugly sneaker to some of you guys, but this is a sneaker that meant a lot to me as a kid. Like I remember seeing my brother and his girlfriend getting this pair 
this pair and as well as the black pair but i remember her getting this pair in particular when it first came out and this is the last sneaker that jordan wore you know when he played with the wizards so this is actually a sneaker that jordan wore you know uh coming in the 17 and 18 and that was it the 14s were not the last sneaker that you know well to the younger kids i did find however it's funny that you know, uh, these sold out, and now everybody's kind of like, hmm, I actually do like these. I, you know, you're going to see, I'm going to see, you're going to see a couple hype beasts out there switching their little minds up. So I'm watching you motherfuckers on Twitter. I'm watching you, and I'm waiting to see you switch your mind up about these sneakers, because these are some ugly-ass sneakers. They're ugly. Keep your mind that way. However, they hold a little bit of sentimental value to me. That's why I wanted to go after them, and I was a little hurt that they sold out. Stonecrest usually has everything. I didn't want to go drive way out to Linux. Cumberland had them at the foot action flight 23, but I'm not taking the risk. I'm not driving way out there just to say, you know, no. So if you want this size 11 to buy it, hit me up. But I'm really looking for an eight and a half and a nine. Quick update, guys. Shout out to Chef David on Twitter. My main main right here, Chef David. I got to show this thing to you guys right here. This guy right here, man. He uh pointed out that there were pairs available on bodega and uh there was a size eight and a half on there and it was the last size left and i was able to successfully order it from bodega so that should be coming in hopefully i'm just waiting on more confirmation making sure that thing gets shipped because it was the last actual pair so i think we might be successful we might just have to wait a couple days if you want a size 11 hit me up or i'm gonna return it back to foot action straight like that that's what it is but Jordan 18, if you would want to review, let me know down in the comment section. I will review these without on foot. Tell you a little bit more about the quality, get some better shots close up and all that. But uh, yeah, man, definitely was a uh, Elberg on that behalf. So yeah. But yeah, guys, it's your boy Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. I love you guys. See you guys tomorrow. It's live stream. Peace.